Hey guys, welcome to another video and I'm going to take another one of our comments we've received on our website and answer that. And this is, I have a note on my door from Van Slam but can't reach them when I call. Do they serve on behalf of individuals or businesses and what do I do if the debt's not mine? So Van Slam is one of the larger process servers in Alabama. So most states have uh, a whole bunch of people that might serve a few lawsuits, but then there's a few companies that will really kind of dominate the market. And I don't know what Van Slam's market share is, but uh, we certainly get a lot of calls from people who have been served by Van Slam. And so it's a good question here. If they can't reach you, a lot of times they will leave a note on your door, maybe you know a little business card or something. And so I think it's always a good idea to call them to see what is this because it might be they are the wrong person or if they are trying to serve you and some would disagree with this but I think you know what let them serve you and a lot of times we even file a response before we've been served because I want to get to trial as quickly as possible because I think I can beat these guys so why would I want to delay or wait on it but in any event for this person I would definitely call, document those calls, call several times, you know, just make a note. Hey, I called on this day. So if they say, well, you were trying to dodge service or avoid service, you say, no, look, all these times I call. And then the question is, do they serve on behalf of individuals or businesses? I have only seen them uh, serve on behalf of businesses, debt collectors, debt buyers, like Midland Funding, people like that. But I'm sure that they also will serve lawsuit papers on behalf of individuals. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I suspect the majority of their business comes from representing or not representing, but serving lawsuits on behalf of corporations. And this last part is, what do I do if the debt's not mine? Well, the short answer to that is, if you're being sued for something that you have no responsibility for, well, that's a great defense. You definitely do not want to let a default judgment happen if really you don't owe anything on this. Now, if it's a debt buyer and you say, well, maybe I owe the underlying debt, the you know Chase credit card, Capital One credit card, but I don't owe Portfolio or Midland or Calvary or whoever it is, well, again, don't let a default judgment happen. Here's the short answer. Don't ever let a default judgment happen. Always respond to a lawsuit. And even if you go to trial and lose, well, that's no worse than getting a default judgment. And if you fight this, you may be able to be successful, and particularly if we're talking about debt collectors and debt buyers. There's a, a really good chance that you can be successful on those. And so the point is figure out what they're doing, what, what kind of lawsuit are they trying to serve on you. Uh, you can check with your local court. And obviously this question is for people in Alabama. You can call my office, ask for Carolyn, 205-879-2447. She'll look it up on Alicourt. That's our online court system. And tell you, okay, there's a lawsuit. Here's the plaintiff. Here's who's suing you. Because you've got to know who's suing you. And this would be true for anybody in the nation that you, you think you're being sued and somebody's trying to serve you. Figure out what it is. I mean, is it a $500 medical bill? Is it a $100,000 student loan? What is it? Because that can make a huge difference, obviously. And then you can take action from that point. But first, you got to figure out who's suing you, what they're suing you for, what this is all about. And make sure you understand your time limit to respond once you are served. So hope that that's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, just let us know. And if you're in Alabama, you can always reach out to us, 205-879-2447 or alabamaconsumer.com. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.